Okay, getting my helmet on at the car park. Let's see how this bike performs going uphill. I'm just going to try to get to the um, top pretty quick. Not going to go for any records, but um, see how we get on. Hi there. Okay, so we've got a steep ascent here for sure. It won't pick it up on GoPro, it never does, but I'm going to whack it in turbo. And, uh, oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, this is a dream. Just try out trail. Okay, so trail, if I push harder on my legs, that just mimics the output. But let's go back to boost and see what we can get. It's a horrible climb under. Wow, okay, that's amazing. This is freaking steep. A lot of people complain about this climb. And quite honestly, this um, one of the big reasons I got this bike. I've done fitness all my life and do lots of different activities. And mountain biking for me is about all the fun, progression. I don't, it's not my goal to become a mega fit mountain biker. I'm just being honest, my goal is to have as fun, much fun as possible and progress as a rider. This is crazy. This is actually... <clears throat> wow. As you can tell, I'm getting yeah, slightly out of breath because I'm working with the bike to get up here as fast as possible. So it's not a case of do nothing. I mean, admittedly, I would be able to put it in, you know, the climbing gear and just really go slow, but I don't, I want to get up here fast. Ah, oh, they're alright. Oh, Are yeah, you alright? Oh, yeah. Hiya there! It's okay, you didn't touch me. <laughs> Great seeing kids out in nature. Love it. So good. Well, awesome job to the parents. Sorry for the sniffling, I'm, uh, it's a cold day but I'm also full of hay fever. I get problems with my sinuses at the best of times. Okay, coming up to, again this is steep. So let's see if I, if I put it in. Well, I won't go full climbing gear. I'm in trail, ah, okay. Still, that was really nice. Turbo is crazy. Boost, sorry. So we're going to be coming down that in a minute.
Wow. Well, climbing on this obviously first ride out. Um, wow, that's all I can say really. Really impressed with that. <laughs> I'm really interested to see how long that took. That's epic, right? I'll uh, get ready for the down. Some other e-bikers, whee! So first ride out, don't know if this is how, how, oh actually, let's put the clutch on. It's gonna be a steady rise, so. Guys, let's pause for a moment. I thought it'd be really helpful if we do a start and end point, we'll time it, we're gonna see how I progress on the bike and get used to it, and we can come back to this later and see if there's any difference. Can I get my, all right, love. Feels really planted as you'd expect, I guess, from an eBay. Holy crap! Remember, I don't have any brakes really. Oh, I went the wrong line. <laughs> That's the first ride I've done. Obviously I went on the uphill. Wow, I'm so impressed with that. I'm not just saying that. Wow. As you can tell, I was super stoked after the first ride. It felt brilliant, the bike. So I went straight back up to the top, played again. And then what I did was go into some other trails, some tight, twisty, steep tech flow, jump lines. I'll show you some snapshots of that. I went also back the day after to have another bit of a play. So I'll show you some snapshots of that. And as I really get familiar with the bike, I'll do some more full runs and we can jump straight back into that. Okay, let's do this. Greasy. Oh, foot off. Uh, to that trail that we've just done. I was uh, messing that up. Well, that's because it's, it's not necessarily because it's, it's an e-bike. It's because it's um, just a bit longer and with it being much more greasy today, I need to uh, get the bike around the corner better. So. Let's go because it's really tight and fun trail. Oh, that's miles better. Oh, so much better that run. Oh yeah, be interested if you guys could see the difference. 
um, my foot came off on the last one that was miles better really really good trail but obviously it's a lot longer from the top to the bottom we're just sessioning this little bit today Meg really likes it this is another massive plus point of an e-bike so I, I've done that trail and the, as you can see the terrain here it's, it's steep you're going to tie yourself out on a non e power bike very quickly there's no long winding road to get up so my first ride so my first yeah time on that trail today didn't go great but the fact with an e-bike i can go back up again and try to rectify my mistakes whereas if you're on a non e power bike it's going to be a lot harder to do uh, so as you can see I've, I've caught meg back up so meg's done one run i've done two and this is on the very short section so you can imagine going from top to bottom the difference I did start on a e-bike when I first started riding a Cube Stereo 160 SL Very different pieces, plus I had no riding experience It's just crazy fast, plus the trails are all loose, my brakes aren't working so it's all a bit woo But it's so fun, okay Let's drop back in Oh, wow. Pop it up with that. Woo. Pop it up with that. Oh, man. session is a bit of a, a new trail we've done once before and I've just gone down it again um, so yeah just trying to get familiar with it a bit you know Oh, I need to get and do that. It's nice to have that little bit extra energy for doing this sort of stuff. Oh, I better push up a bit. Oh. I know no one else is coming on this trail. <coughs> so that's why I'm doing this, guys. 
not recommended. Okay. Megan's much better up than me at remembering trails. What's coming up? Oh, there we go. Oh, another one. Oh. oh, damn it. Then I forgot that one. That's just been newly packed in, as you can see. Oh, that was fun. Again, keep messing up that corner. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Alright, have a good one guys. We're back right where we started. I've had three days on the bike, two very short days, a couple of hours. The third day being Sunday, which is today, I had a much bigger day, which is really, really good. So let's see if there's any time difference between the first ride and the last ride after three days. Pedal, 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 pedal. Pedal, pedal, pedal! Come on, pedal! Oh, how's that? Pretty stoked with that. That was 3.38 seconds faster than my initial run on the bike. Clearly I've been getting used to it. And that was after five hours of riding. Guys, I'm back. Bike's cleaned. I've had three sort of or was it two? Three, I think, half days or like a couple of hours play. And then today was a longer day on the ride. <sighs> Man, this bike is ridiculous. First of all, let me just say, I'm not one of these guys or people just to say, just because it's mine, just because it's brand new, it's awesome and it's, it's brilliant. That is not me at all. I'm really honest. I'm straight down the line. And I can honestly say this bike is ridiculous. It's amazing. I've been giving it a lot of thought because I wanted to try to get this 
um, across the most the best way for, for yourselves and all I can think of so I've got my nuke proof my is it my enduro bike you know 170 up front 165 basically the same suspension um, as on the YT and it's playful it's fun it's a medium um, as I said in the previous video I'm five foot eight it seems to fit me really well it seems really like it's quite on the smaller side I think on sizing and it's really playful and everything so I was thinking great okay well I'm going to get an e-bike I'm going to size up it's going to have a 29er on the front obviously 27 on the rear so it's going to help me get up the hills really really quick but it's going to it's not going to be as fun how can it be I was wrong I was ridiculously wrong it's crazy fun I my mission for me to, to ride is to be as to move on the bike as much as possible, to play on the bike as much as possible, to be able to manual, to pop, to gap, to end around corners. You know, I want to be steezy. That's my aim because it's damn fun. That's my journey. That's what I want to be able to do. I want to be able to do big gap jumps, whip, table. You know, I, I love it all. And that's me where I would like to be as a, as a rider. So I didn't want to have a bike that was just a real plow machine that's going to just charge through trails and be really sort of... Uh, lacking feel and um, I wanted something and I never in a million years would expect this to be what it was I was expecting it to be good for an e-bike but it's actually brilliant as a bike regardless of having an e or not and my um my thoughts yeah I've been really th con trying to think hard is it and long about which bike would I prefer and it's not just because it's new it's because it handles it's so confidence inspiring if I had to choose one that would be my my bike, if I had to choose one, regardless of my downhill bike, my enduro bike and e-bike, because it's just as fun as my nuke proof, which is a brilliant bike. But yeah, I'm getting up to the hills really faster, but actually this bike is more confidence inspiring. So as you'll have seen in my previous videos, you know, I'm popping off roots and, you know, little cut down tree stumps and hitting jumps. And <laughs> it's just really, really fun from like shrouping a corner, power sliding around a corner and, bunny hopping into a trail it's it's ridiculous in the best way possible and it's blown my mind and it's it's been really hard for me to sort of get my thoughts together properly because I'm still sort of like how is it so good uh the suspension I've, I've, I think I've got dialed in I probably could do and I've said this too many times now one more token in the back just to make it slightly a bit more progressive but it's not like it lacked that it was perfect for what I need and um it just gives me a smile from the thought of riding to the actual riding from the up and the down it's mega confidence inspiring that was the biggest one and i've on our local trails where i've been testing this um you've got some really steep shoots genuinely and we've traveled a lot up and down the country and even outside of this country so we, we rode a lot and it's damn steep with really tight turns like <laughs> crazy tight switchbacks and me thinking i've sized up as well and it being a heavy e-bike i was really going to struggle and it's taken some adjustment obviously but it's just phenomenal so i hope my thoughts and feedback have been helpful to yourselves and i'll be definitely giving a big update as we go and progress on this bike but the yt 2020d college cf pro is fantastic and just before i forget guys we're going to be working a lot more on youtube giving lots more content at least one video a week Apologies for the sporadic one minute we're, we're posting a lot and the next we're not. It's, we, we're a lot more active on Instagram and it's brilliant. We love it. We love interacting with other mountain bikers, communicating, helping each other out. It's, re it's really good. Megan is, um, well, because of COVID, it's all on the, on the hold at the moment, but she's actually going to be doing the British National Downhill Series once it's back open again after COVID. And we have lots more crazy stuff planned, big biking trips, more zine and such. So if you're on a journey of progression, mountain biking, travel, sending it, please like, subscribe. It means a lot. And as I said, I promise you each week we're going to have a new video and we'll always take your comments and feedback on board. And if there's anything that you'd like to see, let us know and we'll see if we can help and get an awesome video made for you. Cheers. Peace.